The Mississippi River has been high nearly all of 2019. It's causing major problems for farmers who grow crops near the river. Where it hasn't rained for days, fields are still too wet to plant because of seepage water pushed up to the surface. Irrigation wells are backflowing into fields. Thousands of acres may go unplanted this year because of the high water. I know in Tensile we've got land across the levee, and they don't. the guys I've talked to that farm it don't even really envision planting it this year. In Point Capete Parish, the river has captured an area that typically grows more than 4,000 acres of crops. Because of the high water, farming practices have to be altered, and planted crops are beginning to show some signs of stress. The roots are starting to rot. Um, we're starting to see symptoms of that. Uh, any of the cane that is along the river, um, any kind of fertilizer application has to be uh, flown over. Um, and in a lot of fields just won't be able to be planted this year. Another slug of water is coming down the river and officials are planning on opening the Morganza Spillway. When opened, thousands more acres of cropland and pastures will be inundated, leading to additional hardships for farmers. If the water gets off quickly and the land dries, some farmers may try to plant again. We're reaching uh, kind of that threshold where we'll see decreased yields if they are able to get it in. Um, and, you know, on, it's an unfortunate situation for the farmers because they have to tell the landowners that they're not going to be able to get a crop in this year. The high water has also displaced wildlife. Any wildlife that was across the, uh, across the levee is now over on our side and they're, they're hurting crops tremendously. Forecasts for most river gauges in Louisiana call for the Mississippi to remain above flood stage through June. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.